really in everything that we do, you don't know what you don't know until you know it. And it takes time to actually be successful print on demand because there's so many small integral things that you need to learn. The process of getting a listing up is a process. Once you kind of know that you go, okay, now I can bank that. I know how to do that. Now, how do I get my product seen? Oh, I got to figure that out. How do I do better research? Oh, I got to do that. How do I make better art and graphic designs? And what program should I be using? You kind of develop what works best for you. Then you go, okay, how can I outsource each one of these pieces? How can I hand this off completely to a team and actually build a business instead of just a side hustle? Right. We love talking about that in our group. Nathaniel started this as a side hustle. Now it's turned into a business. Now we're teaching people how to turn this side hustle into an actual business where it's not just merch. There's a whole bunch of other platforms that you can sell on. That's mm-hmm. what we like to teach people is all of these platforms. You don't have to do all of them. You can hire mm-hmm. a team and the team can go out there and sell. Uh, we talk about this a little bit too. The markets have changed. T-shirt business, probably even 10 years ago, is completely different than how it is now. Mm-hmm. It's a small market. There were only a few players now because of the market is so open. It's kind of easy to actually make a shirt and bring it to market. There's a whole bunch of players. So you can't just make a cat shirt and expect cat shirt will sell. You have to find out who is your audience. How do you niche down? How do you actually make it seen by those customers? What art do they like? What colors, what keywords are they using? All of that information goes along with everything else. It doesn't have to be shirts. It doesn't have to be books. But once you kind of understand that niche market, then you can sell them what I talk about all the time, the product line. Right. Those customers are mostly using the same keywords, mostly like the same colors, mostly like the same imagery. As soon as you kind of tap into that, which takes time, then you can go after that customer base. And right. I always talk over to Dana. I always see him trying to jump in. No, I just keep going. <laughs> I was going to jump in <laughs> on the other the other side of that, or on along the same lines, I should say, of the no out of pocket. It does. You said it takes time, but it also you need to throw a wide net. And that's, I really like that imagery that you use. Um, You need to throw a wide net and that can cost money except for with print on demand, it doesn't. And so you're able to spread, throw a net out wide and see what sticks and then do more of that and, and learn from there and continue to build on that. So, and so you can throw that wide net and it doesn't cost you anything to do that. And that's super, super valuable because we're all kind of, tired of spending money on things that aren't giving us any kind of return. And here you don't have to spend any money um, to throw out this net. Now, not everything is going to sell, but it's a mind shift to, it doesn't have to, you're still gathering really uh, valuable information and data that you can use and build on. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. My name is Steven. This is my brother, Nathaniel. Together, we are the wingman. If you guys want to know more about anything that we talked about, check the description of this video.